What is up, boys? Welcome back to yet another map guide because I'm a lazy fuck and can't come up with a normal video. This map guide, obviously, as you can see, we're going to be on bank and we're going to be showing you, first of all, CO Executive Lounge, top floor defense. And while we're at it, I'll just show you the site setup with Maestro to start off like every video. Okay, uh, boys, we're, we're starting off in CEO, most definitely. This is going to be the first site you're going to go. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make head holes on the right side of this wall. Then you're going to want to reinforce this right side wall. Now, what you're going to do, this is optional, but I like to make these head holes across this wall. This is so you can just watch the janitor walk in if you need to, because normally the teammate playing janitor is a bot. And you're going to reinforce these two walls. Okay, next up, we're going to make a rotate that's crouchable right here. This is so you can rotate in between janitor and the second objective. Most people make a voltable rotate here, and I would agree with this. You're going to want to make this voltable rotate so people can come in through janitor and then hop up here. And another thing you could do is if you come over here in conference room and decide to get the Volcrom stand on this desk, you could make holes like this. So you can watch the janitor door also from back here. And, uh, this wall right here, there's a couple of things you can do with it. You can reinforce the triple wall. You don't necessarily need this right wall that bad. But another thing you can do is make head holes right here. And watch the stock walk in from here. And this is what I would recommend most of the time to do. Just make head holes right here and then just reinforce. It's hard, right? Once you don't get wall banged or someone walks up marble if you're playing like this. Also, real quick tip, make sure to put heddles on the stock wall so you can watch the window hop in. I'm not sure if I say this later because my memory is shit, but just an extra tip right here. And just play off of these head holes and be able to swing out. I would recommend that. Another thing you could do is you can make a rotate over on this right side, but I genuinely or generally would not recommend it. Because in this case, you'll have to deal with somebody walking all the way up spiral you don't want to have to deal with someone walk up spiral shooting you in the back but i would recommend making a rotate right here for anybody playing in trump this is so they can help the player out that might be playing in e3 and swing out here into stocks so you can even make this one runnable so you can swing out of it oh so swing swing out of it like this next thing there's a guarantee you're going to want to reinforce these two walls you're going to reinforce both of those walls just because you don't want anybody sitting on this window and deciding to kill every single person both e3 and trump just from sitting outside that repel on man lobby. now that we're trump side you don't really need to do anything over here you might want to barricade off these three so you don't get shot from lobby because you can get a nasty angle by repelling on that window so i would recommend barricading off these few you actually don't need this far barricade off because you can still rotate out here and stuff you know if someone's repelled there you're most likely going to be able to kill them anyways so now that we're inside of here Next thing we're going to need to do, these two walls right here, we're going to get them reinforced. These are reinforced, so anybody coming top square, if they were to repel in those windows, they aren't just able to get an instantaneous angle into the objective, or they were to be on square stairs right now. I would recommend barricading off this with the castle or something, but obviously we don't have the castle, so we're just going to barricade that off. Stock is very important, a very important room here, so let's make these footholds. You're going to want to do that every time, and these two walls are optional to reinforce, but I would prefer. This is so you can play with a guy with a shield right here, and he also can swing out and contest anybody walking within stock. But with that, that covers the setup for the top floor bomb site CEO on bank. Now, it's time to do the call so let's start over on square side. So, that should be square repel, because these are the windows most people repel on. This would be double door square. This would be square head holes. This would be far back square. This would be uh, compass or I say top square stairs. These on square stairs, top square stairs. And more general general things like yellow pings and stuff are going to make it much easier. This is going to be close on janitor door, swinging janitor door. It's going to be janitor head holes. There's obviously going to be janitor janitor volt rotate janitor crouch rotate this is going to be a long haul 
is going to be stock half footholds, stock triple wall is going to be stock itself, stock on left window or right window, you'll understand. It will be vending, this is going to be marble, there's going to be middle marble, bottom marble, and then top marble here. This is going to be E3, it's going to be E3 double walls. This is going to be spiral. This is going to be top spiral. This is going to be banana. Is there anywhere along here? This is going to be E3 repel. This is going to be lobby skylight. You can be more specific on which. That's lobby walk-in or lobby main door. This is called connector for the most part, or you could say, uh, yeah, pretty much just connector. This is going to be CEO. This is going to be CEO repel on either of these windows you make it more specific. Obviously, this is either square headholes or CEO headholes. This is behind desk. Most people will recognize that as this desk. Now, here we are. We're an executive or exec. Behind couch exec. Obviously, top top bomb exec. Behind turn couch exec. This is going to be the Trump double walls. There's also going to be Trump double walls. Should just say Trump walls left to right. This is going to be Trump. The Trump windows are on banana windows. This is going to be Trump desk. This is going to be Trump rotate. Oh yeah, this is going to be janitor. This is going to be uh, janitor behind shelves. Janitor door, obviously. But with that. Let me look around. That covers almost every one of the callouts on the top floor bomb site. So with that being said, now I'm going to show you boys the strategy that I would employ on this top floor. For this top floor bomb site, I would recommend playing Castle because he can get you loads of information and make very easy setups that you can play off of with him. Plus, he's got ACOG now, so very good option. Bomb locations First thing is, here. this barricaded off instantaneously. Second thing is, you're gonna come out here, and you're gonna once again make that Trump rotate. Third thing you're gonna do is make sure these two walls are reinforced for time saving purposes. Sorry, once again, edit and vibe and coming in here, you're gonna wanna actually put this beeper onto that little uh, fucking lantern right there. Fuck, bro, <laughs> that ain't the fucking word, man. Uh, the little, oh my god, bro. Oh my god, someone saved me. The little lamp. The lamp hanging from the ceiling, man. Put the beeper on there and put it on the left side so that it detects them. They won't get it shot like this. I couldn't think of that. Now when they're walking up, they're less likely to see it and more likely to set it off. That's just so you know somebody is on marble. Not marble, sorry, banana. Spiral stairs. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to barricade off stock. Your second beeper, these two walls are reinforced. Once again, post that vibe and make head holes on those walls. Don't reinforce them. Is you're gonna make footholes here and then you're gonna throw that beeper straight there. So you know if they hop in, you're able to contest it. And once again, you can also make the head holes. So you can contest that from standing on the desk. On the long desk, yes. And then next thing you're gonna do is just placing your last two castles both here and here. With that barricaded off, now you, you're pretty free to play wherever you want. You can play up on this desk, which is a very good idea. Those two walls are reinforced, by the way. Just no, they aren't. Reinforced. You can play close on 9, not 90, sorry, on long haul, and swing top square. You can play off the square head through janitor. Which is very good for watching the walk up. But the number one place I'd recommend playing with this setup is going to be on E3 within the elevator because you will hear them walk in stock very easily. You will hear back uh, main stairs, you know, for yourself, spiral. You'll just need to watch Marvel. That's the one thing about it. And uh, you can also come from E3. You can get aggressive up the hallway, swing out into long haul. And you can also rotate back in the site to Trump, to test main stairs, or play in here, swing out of Trump, and get everybody off those angles. Overall, a very solid strategy, and it works most of the time, giving you a way bigger chance of winning.
now that we've covered the CEO bomb site, we're going to head down to the second site. You should go CCTV and lockers. And for this site, we're going to once again go Maestro to set it up. And then I will show you the strat and the callouts right after. Okay, first thing you're going to do, let's start in CCTV. You're going to want to make head holes across this wall. Making these head holes because you do not want to give them the free server walk. And you give them this control, you practically lost around. Next thing you do, reinforce this wall. Next thing you're going to want to do is make a crouchable rotate or standable rotate, doesn't really matter, right here. Now that you've done that, I would recommend reinforcing this right side wall. After that, I'd recommend making another crouchable rotate directly in front of that other one. And now that we have those two, what we're going to do is we're going to come down red hole and make head holes over here. Oh wait, this wall, and we're also going to make head holes on garage. This is so if they don't push garage, you can play all the way back here and play on the three, the default plan, which they will most likely put right there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to handle lockers, by the way, ignore those two walls, not too important. We're going to make a rotate right here. We're also going to make head holes right here, and just make them all the way through here. So you can watch all the way from over here, you can watch all the way back to servers. It's gonna be part of our strategy. You're gonna to want to make head holes right here for marble. Just so you can contest anyone up there and reinforce this left side wall. And with all those reinforcements down and all these walls open, I think there's one more thing we need to do, which is going to be getting the hatches, which there is three of. Or maybe even more. So you got this hatch right here inside a vault. You got this hatch right here inside of elevators. We got this hatch right here inside of the security hall. And you got this hatch right here inside of server. You can open up this one if you have one playing above, but overall, if you're solo queue like I do, just reinforce it. This is going to be the server hatch. This is going to be the security hall hatch. This is going to be the CCTV hatch. This is going to be the elevator hatch. And now that we've done that, it's time for the callouts on the basement bomb site. Let's start over here. This is going to be E1. This is the first floor elevators, well, basement elevators, so E1. I'll call this on the rack around E1. This is obviously volt entrance. I would call it volt entrance. So say volt double window, volt door. And you're gonna want to come back here. This is just the vault in general. People don't play very specific areas, so you can just call this different things. This is going to be cash. This is going to be gold. This is going to be the vault hatch, which we forgot to get. Anyways, we're back here again after getting that hatch, so let's work our way through vault. Obviously, this is just in the vault. It's gonna be cash vault. There's gonna be gold vault over there. There's gonna be red hole, there's gonna be red hole rotate, there's gonna be red hole head holes. There's going to be garage head holes, there's going to be a ramp garage or stairs garage. There's going to be money truck garage. This is going to be minivan garage. There's going to be cash garage. There's gonna be police car garage, there's obviously gonna be garage entrance. This is, like, you're flying, like, around there. It's gonna be trash cans. You call this garage hall. That's what I would prefer to call it over security hall. Is it gonna be Roger security hall hatch? There's gonna be CCTV. There's going to be normally where somebody's gonna play CCTV on chassis. There's going to be CCTV head holes. There's going to be default plan. There's going to be dirt. Because it's dirt. This is going to be servers behind rack, or servers behind servers, servers desk, first hatch, I'd call this blue stairs, maybe bottom blue stairs, top blue stairs, and blue stairs door. You can also call this square hatch.
There's gonna be lockers. There's gonna be lockers on chassis. They normally do play on bomb chassis. There's going to be lockers or marble head holes. There's going to be lockers to rotate. That should be all of the callouts for the bottom or bomb site. Other than obviously this is bottom marble, mid marble, and just above marble. Strategy you're going to be employing on this bottom floor bomb site is going to be a cage strategy. You're going to use the TCSG with the ACOG. Very important for this strategy. And I'm going to show you boys what's going on here. So the crux of this strategy, other than the cool ass cave claws we're going to do, is going to be these head holes we're going to make that reach all the way back in the server room. So you make the head holes through those walls, then the last head holes. You're gonna be through that wall, and then all you do, come back here. You can watch all the way into server room. I get free kills every single round when I do this shit. Just clap them, dude. You are not going to be able to see a motherfucker on the other side of that. Like, I'll pull out my revolver for somebody who just, like, doesn't have an ACOG, but attackers do have ACOG. But, like, let's say a guy's walking in server, right? Bro's shooting in his pants, right? He's walked in through dirt, he's checking these angles, okay? Nobody on chassis, I'm swinging out. I'm gonna check behind desk. Bam. Tapped by a guy all the way on the left side back there. This shit gets you free kills every time. Now it's time for the strategies of our cage claws. The cage claws that we're going to be placing are for the CC hatch, and they're going to be for the garage ball hatch. For demonstration's sake, I will be reinforcing these hashes, which you should too. First cake call, you're gonna prone below this desk and slap it right here. Ain't no attacker gonna be finding that. I guarantee you that. The second cake call is gonna be slapped right here in this back corner. Nobody's looking back there. And that will just barely reach this hatch right here. And add an office. If both hatches are electrified, you have your strategy, and it is numero uno. Three kills, 101. With that being said, let's go on to our last bomb site. Now we're going to be on the tertiary bomb site, also known as third bomb site. Staff room and open area, which we are once again setting up with Maestro, as you do. Okay, with this bomb site, first thing you're going to do is bomb. you're going to want to reinforce this wall. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make footholds into printer right here. And I would also recommend reinforcing at least this back wall right here, if not this other wall also. You're doing this so they can't just sit on printer window and get an angle all the way back in the side. Bro was not cooking with this one. Just reinforce the middle wall right here. Don't reinforce the right side one. We're going to need the other reinforcement later. I'm going to mention it again, and then I'll show you boys what for. Next thing you want to do is reinforce this quad wall. The next thing you're going to want to do is make a rotate on the right side right here, and you can either make a standable or crouchable, doesn't really matter. Now that we have this rotate, I would recommend opening up this hatch for a late rotation. Oakley dokley. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to make a rotate on the left side right here. We're just going to use an impact grenade for efficiency. And what else you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make footholds across Teller's office right here. This is so you can watch bottom marble and other things like that while playing in here. And you're going to want to use your reinforcements on both this admin hatch and this stockroom hatch. I'll tell you what, boys, I made a mistake. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to not reinforce this right side wall here. Reinforce this middle one still, but do not reinforce this right side wall here. You're going to take that reinforcement instead and bring it over here with your other reinforcement into this hallway. Reinforce off both of these walls so they don't get an angle all the way back down this hallway. Then this wall is reinforced and that one over on the right is not because you're definitely going to need that. And for this site, believe it or not, we actually are going to use Maestro. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a maestro cam far back right here. This maestro cam is going to watch this window and the default plan, which would be right here. Prevent that. The next maestro cam we're going to get 
We're about to watch a man descend into madness. Now I'm gonna get it. Ruby's on. Anyway, so the next one is never going to be getting to right here. Anyway, so the next one is never going to be getting to right here. We're standing. Okay. Anyway, so the next one is never going to be getting to right here. Anyway, so the next one is never going to be getting to right here. Okay, well, apparently you can't do that maestro cam anymore, or I'm just fucking stupid. So, instead, what we're going to do is the next maestro cam we're going to be getting is going to be in B, right here. This maestro cam is going to prevent anybody from just getting aggressive on this doorway, right? because you're also going to be able to zap them in their little tootsies. While we're at that, to expand on that strategy, let's put some footholds across here. Just scare the shit out of them. And we see the little pussies when they're tucked here, zapped up. Old bro never stood a chance. And the last maestro camera I'm going to recommend could most likely be over here. The last maestro camera I'm going to recommend is going to be on top of this desk right here. So it's harder for them to punch, and you can also prevent the plant in the same exact way. Like this. And you can also open up head holes across this wall. Which will allow you to contest the left side even more so. Which will allow you to contest the left side even more so, zapping any boys trying to go for other plants over there. And that's going to be the strategy. Sorry, I'm out of order. But last of all, let's get the callouts for this bomb site. Let's start out here. There's going to be E2 on E2 hash elevator. This is going to be E2 normal elevator. This is going to be open area hall. I would say this is going to be lobby. This is going to be a reception or tellers. You can say either. For lobby, you're going to want more specific calls like lobby desk. There's going to be lobby walk in, lobby doors. You can come over here. There's obviously Tyler Banana. This is going to be called loan or loan office. There's going to be loan office double walls. Give me loan repel, loan windows, obviously. There's going to be teller's office. There's going to be teller o teller's office walls. There's going to be teller's office on desk. There's going to be teller's office on printer. There's going to be teller's office tucked on cash bags. There's going to be marble footholds. There's going to be archives. There's going to be archives on shelf. There's going to be archives door. There's going to be archives window. This is going to be the teller's archives door. This is going to be the admin rotate. This is going to be bottom square. This is going to be electrical. Be electrical footholds. This is going to be the square quad wall. This is going to be staff room. Most people call it cafeteria. There's going to be staff room B chassis. This is going to be default plant. I also enjoy planting over here if it's going to be in B. This is going to be the staff room rotate or the calf rotate. This is going to be the printer footholds. There's going to be open area, obviously. There's going to be open area double. Uh, double door. There's going to be the open area hatch. There's going to be the admin hatch. There's going to be the default plant within open area because they'll most likely drop the open area hatch and plant on here. And this is going to be close on printer wall. Other than that, that is pretty much all the callouts for this bomb site of Bank.
You'll be soft, you motherfucker. If you decide to crash again, I'll slap you. Okay, boys, that's been the video. I hope you boys learned something, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day so far. And make sure to drop a like, sub, maybe even comment if you enjoyed the video or how I could improve it next time. And without any further ado, let's roll the outro. Have a beautiful day, boys.